Good afternoon guys or good morning, good evening, whichever the time is you're watching this video. I hope you're all well. Um, as the title suggests, this is um, a what I consider a simple easy method of creating cut contour lines with Adobe Illustrator. Um, when I first started out um, using my Roland BN20 in Illustrator, um, it was I found it a bit of a minefield of um, how to create the cut contour lines. Um, I think if you ask 10, di 10 different people you'd get 10 different answers. So, um, so what I've done is hopefully um, compiled the easiest method what I find. So we'll jump straight into it. So firstly let's get rid of that. Now what you've got is your, your blank page, your template, whichever you want to call it. It's just a normal blank page. Now what I would like to do, if you go to the top corner of your screen, or sort of top bar of your screen, you see your box that says window, click on that and I need you to add three um, different sections first one being layers you'll see that there about halfway down and go again click on window pathfinder again just underneath layers and then the third and final one is if you go to swatch libraries and then another section opens up you'll see it and then you go back up to Roland VersaWorks so you should have these kind of three um, toolboxes as it were Pathfinder, uh, Layers, and Versal, Roland VersaWorks Color Palette. These will, these to me are the three things you need to create your cut lines. But you, once they're open, they're fine. You don't need to do anything else more with them. Um, okay, so let's start and just nice and simple. Let's just put a nice easy image in there for you. Okay, just reduce him down to make it easy. This is a, a standard JPEG image. If you can see, if I move it off the page there, you'll see it's actually got a white background with, to it, which is what most images you'll end up getting have got. Um, so, but what we want to do is create a nice um, contour cut line around the edge of the cow in this case. So, put him back on the page. Right, the easiest method I found of doing it is if you go to your layer toolbox here um, and click layer with your left mouse button and hold it and then drag it down to what looks like a folded piece of paper um, and then you'll see a little plus sign appear and then let go and you'll see that it's got layer one and layer one copy now now layer one is your original so what I would do at this stage is lock the original so we can't alter it or mess it up in any way um, and the second one there is the a little eyeball visibility so I would click that to get rid of that so we can't mess around with it because it's locked and technically we can't see it what we're seeing on screen at the moment is the is the copy which is what we want to work on so click on that to make sure we're uh, it's highlighted to make sure we're working on the actual copy not the main original now at this stage if you move to the top of the screen again you'll see a box that says image trace and a little arrow next to it uh, with some drop down options click on the little arrow and near the bottom you'll see silhouettes now I use this one and I'll show you why if you click on silhouettes it creates everything into like a, a black silhouette as like what it's called um, and in this case like 95-98% of it is, is all blacked in which is kind of what we want but we want to fill all these bits in so if you just click on expand which is kind of confirming that you're happy with those trace results you'll see like the little blue dots appear around it go back to here now with your pathfinder now if you click this bottom right bottom middle one that says merge and then click this one up here first one on the top row which says unite you'll see that they the little highlighted sections have disappeared okay so that now is technically a uh, direct silhouette of your original image but we want to create um, almost like a little contour line around the outside of it like a couple of mil line around the outside so one is still selected or if it's not selected select it make sure you've got the, the, the bounding box the little blue dots around it go to object and come down to path and then offset path and then this other little box pops up and this is basically saying to you how far off do you want the extra line to be the offset line to be so if we click preview you will see an extra line appear like a silhouette line appear around the outside of it and if you think that's maybe a bit too big click on here and just alter that down to say 2 or 2.5 whichever you choose 
um, and then click OK. So that's given you a little two mil echo line, as it were, like a contour line. So at this stage, what we'll do is we'll select the inner one and just delete it, just hit delete. So all we're left with is the outer bigger image. Now, on your Roland VersaWorks palette, with this still selected and the little dots around it, click on this magenta box and the whole image will turn magenta color. But at that point, that's not entirely what we want, but we're not finished with it yet. If you look in the top corner of your screen, you've got two boxes. The first one is your infill color and your second one is your um, outline color. So if we click the first one and select none, that gives no infill. And if we click the second one and click the magenta color, that puts the outline as a magenta cut contour color. And what I tend to do is just change the stroke down to 0.25. It just makes it a little bit of a finer line. Okay, so at that point, you're pretty much done. All you've got to do is go back to your layer section and click the eyeball and you will see that the cow has now got a nice cut contour line all the way around the outside of it and what you can do is if you click on the little padlock to unlock it and then select them both click group and then when you reshape you'll be shaping them all both the image and the cut contour line at the same sort of size so at this point all you need to do now is save this as a um, PDF PDF file and open it in VersaWorks and search for, when you open VersaWorks search for the the file that you've saved as a PDF um, for example in this instance I would more probably call this Highland cow with cut line and save it as a PDF so when you open VersaWorks you'll open Highland cow with cut line PDF and you should see a in the image details within VersaWorks um, a little box that says I believe it says a and a little square box around it to show that there is a cut line around it um, so yeah hopefully that helps if you've got any questions or comments please leave them in the section below um, I'm trying to grow this channel so if you can like comment subscribe and do all the usual YouTube stuff that would be great um, but as I say if you do get stuck or anything please um, drop me a question or a comment in the, in the section below and I'll do my very best to answer them for you. So anyway, hopefully that helps guys and um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.